Good afternoon, friends. I'm about to head over to Walmart to do my Ibotta shopping. I have a weekend warrior bonus of $5 for 18 offers. I don't want to complete that many offers. That's a big amount. So I've already done two pay with Ibotta to try to eat up some of those offers. So I'm going to head in store now and of course, take you along with me. Of course, the first place that I head to in store is the clearance section and I find this degree massage bar marked down to $1.78. It's not attaching to the Ibotta rebate, but I'll get $2 back from the coupons.com app and a 10 cent rebate from Ibotta, making it a 32 cent moneymaker. I also found these Harry Shave sets for only a dollar. I think that they must be return Christmas presents. Next, I'm gonna pick up two of these Rich Cheese Crispers. They're priced at $2.93, and I have this dollar off two Peely that's attached to the boxes. The two of these will total me $5.86. After that Peely, I'll pay $4.86 at the register, but then get back $2.93 on Ibotta, which makes both of these just $1.93 or $0.96 cents each. I saw those Peelys on the Oreos in my store as well. Next, I'm going to pick up this box of mini sweet tarts. They're priced at 98 cents and there's a rebate on Ibotta for 50 cents back. So after that rebate, they will be just 48 cents. And that's all that I'm picking up at this Walmart. I'm going to head to a different store later on in the day to pick up some more items. In the next Walmart, of course, I head to the clearance section first and I hit the jackpot with some clearance makeup. We have some great new Ibotta rebates for Rimmel and I found two of these concealers marked down to a dollar. I'll pay $2 at the register and then submit my receipt to Ibotta for $1.60 back on each, which will make both of them free and $1.20 moneymaker. Next, I'm picking up this Revlon foundation. It's marked down to $3.50 and I have this $4 off Revlon Face Cosmetics paper coupon, which will give me 50 cents of overage. Walmart's coupon policy does allow overage as long as you have other items in your transaction to eat up that overage. Next, I found these two Rimmel lipsticks marked down to $1.75 each, so the two of them will total $3.50. Then I'll submit my receipt to Ibotta for $2.90 back on each one, so that will make both of them free in a $2.30 moneymaker. There was some great clearance today because I also found this Neutrogena cleanser marked down to $2.37. I'm gonna submit this to the coupons.com app for $3 back, which will make it free and a $0.63 moneymaker. The last thing that I found in the clearance section is this Gold Bond Neck and Chest Age Defense Cream. It's marked down to $4 and I have this $2 off paper coupon. After that coupon, it will be just $2. This is a product that I use every day, so I'm happy to pay $2 for it because the original price is $9.97. I was interrupted during my shopping trip yesterday. So I am back at Walmart to finish my weekend warrior bonus. And this morning, a new bonus popped up. I think it's like a treasure hunt bonus. It's $15 for 60 offers, but we have until, um, I think March 7th to complete it. So all of the offers that I'm doing today will count towards that. So I'm going to head in store to finish off my weekend warrior bonus, I just have 10 more offers. Well, actually I have 11, but I'll do pay with Ibotta for one of them. So I have 10 more items to pick up to complete this haul. The first thing that I'm gonna pick up are these Alka-Seltzer for Kids chewable tablets priced at $3.79. I have a rebate on Ibotta for $2 back. So after that rebate, it will be $1.79. But this is also a featured brand on Fetch and I should get cash back on Brand Club because I've completed an Alka-Seltzer survey there. Next, I decided to check out the Valentine's Day clearance. The signs say 50% off, but it is actually 75% off. And there are a lot of really cute stuffed animals left. I'm having a birthday party for my daughter soon, so I'm going to grab a bunch of these as favors for her little friends. I think that this is a lot better than handing out those cheap plastic toys that you typically get in favor bags. The bigger stuffed animals are $1.49 and the little unicorns are just 74 cents. After I picked out a bunch, they still had a lot left in my store. However, I didn't want to take the chance of them not being there when they hit 90% off. The next rebate that I'm going to do is on this can of Bush's Sidekick Beans. They're priced at $1.34 and Ibotta is giving back 15 cents. So after that rebate, it will be $1.19. Next, I'm going to pick up this cup of oatmeal. It's priced at $1.18, and we have a rebate on Ibotta for $0.25 cents back. So after that rebate, this will be just $0.93. Cents. I'm happy that this next rebate is back because I'm actually running low on butter. 
I'm going to pick up this challenge butter price at $2.98 and use this $0.55 cent off coupon that came from the inside of a previous box. I'll pay $2.43 at the register and then submit my receipt to Ibotta for $0.75 cents back. After that rebate, my cost will be $1.68. Next, I'm picking up this Rowdy Energy drink, priced at $1.98. There's a rebate on Ibotta for $1 back, so after that rebate, this energy drink will be just $0.98. Cents. Next, I'm going to pick up something that I haven't picked up in a while, but I really enjoy. It's this True Lemon Drink Mix, priced at $1.97. There's a rebate on Ibotta for $0.60 cents back, so after that rebate, it will be $1.37. I'm picking up the minute rice again, and this time I'm going to get the chicken flavor. It's priced at $1.74, and we have a rebate on Ibotta for $0.25 cents back. After that rebate, it will be $1.49. I bought that box of sweet tarts yesterday, and my rebate already reset, so I'm going to grab another one. I'm really happy that I found this next rebate. I'm going to pick up this 12-pack of Mountain Dew Zero Spark, priced at $3.98. Then I'm going to submit my receipt to Ibotta for $2 back, as well as to fetch for $1.50 back. After those two rebates, this 12-pack will be just $0.48, cents, and that is an amazing deal for Pop. For my last rebate, I'm going to pick up this pain reliever, acetaminophen. It's like Tylenol. It's priced at $0.98, cents, and we have a rebate on Ibotta for $0.10 cents back on any pain reliever. So after that rebate, it will be $0.88 cents and a great size to keep in my purse or my toiletry bag. This is everything that I'm picking up today to finally finish my weekend warrior bonus. I'm going to go ahead and check out and then meet you back at my house to go over the final numbers. I'm back home and this is everything that I picked up today and yesterday. I was not planning on going out to Walmart so many times. It's just the way that it happened. One mistake that I did make was I picked up that generic pain reliever. I should have picked up the St. Joseph aspirin, but I thought that my coupon was expired. Then when I got home, I looked through my coupon folder and found out that I have an unexpired coupon for that. That would have given me two rebates and it would have been cheaper, but that's okay. I'll show you my receipts. This one is just for the gold bond. This one is for all of the clearance makeup. And then this is my Harry's gift sets, the Ritz and the Sweet Tarts and Degree. And then this is from today, it has everything else on it. All of the coupons that I showed you in my video scanned with no problems. This is $46.91 worth of products. And that's the clearance prices too. I use $7.55 in paper coupons. I got back $3.53. That was Marley making that noise. I got back $3.53 from Ibotta for my receipt that had the Ritz on it. I got back $9 for the receipt with the clearance makeup and $7.60 from my receipt today. I also got back $5 for the weekend warrior bonus and 14 cents for using Ibotta gift cards. I also got back $5 from the coupon.com app and I'm getting back $1.50 from Brand Club for unlocked rebates. I wasn't able to sync my Brand Club account today. I think they're having an issue with Walmart because I texted some of my couponing friends and Tisa said that she's also having that problem. So I think it's an issue that they're having. So when I am able to sync my Brand Club, I'll let you all know and update my total in a uh, comment below. I also got back $1.66 on Fetch between all of my receipts and four cents on Shopkick for just a walk-in kick. I got back $1.08 on Swag Bucks, and that included a $1 rebate for the Ritz Crackers. After all of those rebates, everything was $4.81. But if I take off my clearance fines that do not have rebates on them, the Gold Bond and the Harry's, then everything is under a dollar. I will update you guys, like I said, when I'm able to sync my Brand Club account for my second receipt, the one from today but I expect that I'll get some money back. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thank you for watching. Check out my Instagram and TikTok. They are both at Amy Way to Save.